Good? Yeah. Okay. You had to call. Yeah. Yeah. Your eyes are watering. No, they're not. No, they're not. I'm good, bro. I'm not even red. I'm not even red. Oh, you got a tan now. Yeah. No, this is a... Uh... What's going on, guys? <laughs> Bradley Mar here. I'm not out of breath. Um, so, today I'm giving you guys three chest exercises that you need to be doing. Now, I'm not saying you gotta be doing these like every single day, like the other arm exercises, because every day is arm day, but these are three exercises that need to be in your, your routine at some point, okay? Don't worry, I'm not out of breath. I'm not out of breath, bro, stop laughing. It's not funny, it's not funny. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, the three routine, the three exercises. How my brain doesn't work, I need carbs, I need carbs, watch kids. Okay, I'm good. Serious, I'm serious. First exercise. I know this is like groundbreaking shit, but this should be in your routine at some point. The dumbbell, I know this sounds crazy, the dumbbell flat bench press. The reason why I like this exercise so much is because not only does it aid in the strength of the bench press, but it does what the bench press can't do as far as like aiding in stability, right? So a lot of the times, people who are bench pressing, if all you did was bench pressing, you're gonna develop because people just naturally have a stronger side, left or right side stronger, whether it be like shoulders more dominant or triceps more dominant. But bringing, right, the, 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 the hands apart, right, so two different movement patterns, right, your body has to develop strength. So you'll notice when you do this sometimes, one side will go up faster than the other, right? That's a, that's a, that's a clear, marker of like what's going on. So if that's happening, you notice that when you're doing the, the dumbbell bench. Imagine when you're on the flat the flat bar and you, you're pressing but one side moving. So th the reason why I'm saying do this exercise is because it's gonna get you better, more stable. You're gonna be able to build more balanced strength, um, which is why sometimes I'll do these, the same exercise alternating, right? In this video, I didn't do it alternating, but this video I did it same time. But anyways, this is a video this is a video. Oh man, I shouldn't have done those damn things. Anyways, this needs to be in your routine. Second exercise, and I know this one is like, it's also groundbreaking. Um, it's actually the most complicated chest exercise to date. Actually, I think it's the first chest exercise. And uh, I know, it's, it's like sometimes when I give these exercises, I'm like, my God, it's incredible. But it's the push-up. No. Bro, serious. Stop. Serious. Are you serious? I'm serious. It's in the video. Did you, you, you filmed it. The reason why this exercise is 100% is necessary, like the first exercise, not only does it build chest strength, chest size, um, and the reason why I say size is because it helps you create a really strong mind-muscle connection in your chest. If you're doing it, thinking about your chest, if you're going through the movement, like focusing on squeezing, um, is that it also, does for the back side, when I say the back side, I mean like your upper back, your scapula, um, your mid back. It really helps to balance and stabilize those muscles as well. Because to press this from the surface, right? So pressing the earth away from you, right? So when I'm pressing the earth down, and you guys feel like earthquakes and shit in California, and like San Francisco and stuff, that's what's happening. But to press the earth away from you, right? You need to have a solid upper back, right? So this is teaching you to basically create that, and it helps aid that. So if you guys notice like you're, uh, you're unstable, you're unbalanced when you're doing like pressing movements, if like one side comes out first, or you're pressing the bench, you're doing this, the, the push-up is something you should add to your routine somewhere. It doesn't have to be in the beginning, I normally do it towards the end, but it's really great at helping you create stability in all of the pressing movements. So do not skip out on the bench, the bench press. Don't skip out on the bench press either, but do not skip out on the push-up. I mean the push, the, the up push, up push. Yeah, the up push of the earth, so. Next exercise. Oh, now, this is my favorite variation of the cable crossover, the cable fly, whatever you guys want to call it. 
Um, the reason being, I've noticed for me, I just, it just feels better in my chest. I feel like a full contraction from the top all the way to the bottom. I can feel my chest really contract. So this one, I'm doing it like, you guys may see people in the gym that are up here doing the standing one. I like to like bend over, almost like, almost like a 45. What angle would you say, like a 45? Uh, like a 90, like a 45. So like a 45. Like, so my body's in a 45. Like this. You guys see the and what I'm doing, is all I'm thinking about is like keeping my elbows forward and squeezing my chest, right? So I'm thinking about bringing my hands in, squeezing my chest as hard as possible. Not really so much movement in the uh, arms, so I'm not really trying to like move my arms around. I'm trying to keep the elbows in one position and squeeze my chest. Now, I just like it in that angle, so give that a shot if you guys, I think you guys will like it as well. Keep your body in like a 45 degree angle, keep your elbows kind of like flared out a little bit and really just go in and squeeze your chest. So, you know, Arnold did it, so it's a good exercise. Right? True, true. We just always want to reiterate that. But anyway, so I hope you guys like this. Make sure you keep these three exercises in your routine at some point somewhere. Why do you why do you have to why you had to do it? Oh, it's you had to be in here when I was doing that. No, I appreciate it. Hey, no, it's, yeah. Leave alone. Oh yeah, hi. Hi the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just finishing. It wasn't me that interrupted. It was this guy. Thanks. Thanks for noticing clarification. Yeah. Stop. Stop, okay? Stop. All right, that's all. Find me on Instagram. Find me on, don't, don't ever look at this guy again. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, uh, Kazaa, uh, MySpace. That's coming back. I'm bringing it back anytime out of chat. So we're bringing it back. No worries. Um, yeah. Mixtape coming soon. See you guys soon.